My name is Dr. Stephen Boyd, and Gordon has asked me what rare earths are and what their uses are. Rare earths are metals. They are an unusual class of metals. That's actually one of the reasons why, while they're still part of the periodic table, they actually have their own little box at the bottom. We use those things in all of our electronic devices. There is much more desire for the heavier rare earths because they are even more diffuse, um, more difficult to find. And so what did the Department of Defense do? The Department of Defense, due to the dearth of, of the heavy rare earths, and rare earths in general, there are a couple of particular really goody rare earths, um, just bought their supplies from China for their F-22 fighter. You mean the components? The, yeah, the, the, yeah, the actual components that contain the rare earth. Well, that's absurd. That's national security. You've now told them a, one of your components on, on, a, on a very advanced machine that protects our country. You just told them what it is. You just told them how to make it. You just bought it from them. The invoices are there. They purchased it. They, lay, they listed the Chinese companies. That, that's just one example. Are we going to do that for hundreds of components? Thousands of components that, be, that, that belong on the avionics of, of our most advanced you know, weapons? I am not a fan of weapons. I am not a fan of war. But now we're buying them from a real aggressor. <laughs> you know, I mean, China is causing a lot of hullabaloo in Vietnam in Japan, in the Philippines, basically everywhere in the South China Sea because they're, they're, they're pushing, they're pushing on borders for disputed islands. Well, that's not a nice player in the region. This is ex explicitly the reason why the Department of Defense has, sh has shifted their focus to Southeast Asia. Why? Because China is inherently an aggressor, unfortunately. Wow, guess what? China also controls 97% of the world's rare earth markets. Why? Because it just so happens that they don't care about thorium disposal because they don't need to because it's not a, that big a deal. And they, they leave it as tailings and, and it oxidizes and it's biologically inert, you know? So like, you know, it's, it's fine. We've got plenty of rare earths. The United States uh, Geologic Survey has mapped it. <laughs> Uh, you know, whether it's from alluvial deposits or it's in the ground uh, um, in Idaho, for example, at the base of the Rockies, we've got plenty of rare earths here. And we know what kinds, we know what the ratios are too. But we refuse to move. And now we have national security being threatened by us buying it from what is arguably still called in very conservative circles, our enemy, China. What are we doing? <laughs> so let's find alternatives. This, like Toyota is doing that with their car, they're trying to reduce reliance on heavy rare earths. What do you think about that as a strategy for dealing with not having a domestic supply of heavy rare earths? But unfortunately, alternatives are trickier, right? So if you don't have access to those higher energies and the more precise control over those, those higher orbitals, that makes things harder. <laughs> If you want to try and do it with the lighters, that's fine, but it's going to be trickier and it's going to be more expensive. Retool all of your electronics, uh, which is feasible. You could use, for example, um, lighter rare earths in combinations, in pairs, that, would, that may permit you to do that. So there's a lot of tricks that you could try and pull off. I would still submit that that's probably not going to get you what you want. <laughs> so I think it's a bit silly. I think it's a bit silly for a number of reasons. We as humans are born curious. We as humans are born to explore and gain knowledge. It's the reason why I went to the field of science that I did is because I, 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 I love this stuff. Um, why are you deliberately ignoring something that's there? The, the usual suspects are the minerals monazite and churchite, particularly here in the United States. Monazite is, is a predominant mineral and it's a phosphate and it usually has a, one rare earth and usually one thorium atom. And so the, the, the bottleneck here in the United States has been the thorium, which is silly. Thorium really isn't a bad thing. And so what Molly Corp is doing, Molly Corp is, is the United States corporation. They're actually either selling the mines outright or literally shipping the earth over to China for processing. Or is going to China. For it's literally in some cases being shipped 
to China. In some cases, it's actually physically being shipped. They're physically loading up ships with effectively dirt and they're shipping it over for processing to, 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 uh, to uh, uh, extract and refine and separate the, uh, the, the rare earth. So it's kind of like cutting down trees and then putting them on container ships or rafts and sending them to Asia. Right, because for some strange reason, we, 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 we don't have any lumber mills. You know? I mean, so so the, in, the environmental concern when you're processing the rare earths, I understand that it's a chemically intense process. Yeah, there are basically two predominant methods that have been around for over 100 years. Um, actually, I believe Jakob Berzelius actually used nitric acid in 1829 to start isolating the rare earths, okay? He used nitric acid, concentrated nitric acid, digesting the minerals, getting the minerals out into a more workable form, let's say. They make, the, they make nitrate salts, um, and then taking those nitrate salts after having used the nitric acid in order to, for, for further processing and then refinement and then reduction, electrolytic reduction back to the, back to the metal. Yes, that's dangerous. Um, it's dangerous because you're using a heck of a lot of acid, okay? And you have to worry about where that nitrate effluent goes um, because that can have very adverse uh, impacts on the environment. We have come up with a method that does not use nitric acid. I can't go into any more detail, but we have come up with a method that does not use nitric acid. And we can nevertheless digest the rare earths and then separate them out. So while all of this is proprietary, I, so I can't go into any more detail, that's, we view that as a disruptive technology. If we could take care of the thorium in a place, in a special bank, uh, with lots of protection, which is totally unnecessary, but I mean, that's how, if, if, if we need it to be safe, then that's fine, that's how you do it, fine. Once, if we, if we can get that, then we could process millions and millions of metric tons of uh, rare earth containing soils here in the United States. Now, whether we do it through, through our proprietary method or through the nitric acid method or what have you, so long as we're good stewards for the environment, we can do so, and we can do so incredibly profitably. Incredibly profitably. The moment you blow open the doors on a commodity, the, the, the price of the, it's, it's supply and demand curves, you know, that's what dictates price. Well, okay, so, so, but even if it goes down by an order of magnitude, two orders of magnitude per kilo on, on, the, on the spot market, any rare earth, you're still gonna make a boatload of money. You're also preserving national security. You're making tens of thousands of jobs, by the way. I mean, jobs are, is, the, is the holy grail here in the United States, right? Because we want jobs. Well, you'd be making safe jobs. There are tens of thousands of people out there, average blue collar you know, guys and girls, who know how to mine. Well, great, that's exactly what we need. <laughs> Tens of thousands of miners to go and start digging this stuff up in, a, in an environmentally responsible way, which is not that difficult. I mean, there have been some pretty horrible accidents around the world due to the release, the accidental release of the effluent, the waste materials, uh, uh, as a result of rare earth mining. So don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Spend the extra pennies per kilo to be good stewards and you can have all the rare earths you want.